So previously, uh, the focus was to detect shear waves in the inner core because the detection of shear waves would be a direct evidence that the inner core was indeed solid, simply because shear waves can only propagate through solids. They don't propagate through liquids and plasma. So the simplest uh, manifestation of the shear waves in the inner core is the so-called PKJKP wave, uh, where J in the center stands for the uh, shear waves in the solid inner core. And there were previous attempts where people uh, observed what they thought were PKJKP waves, but there, is, there was no consensus in the community that basically those were the real observations of PKJKP waves. Instead of uh, searching directly for PKJKP waves, uh, we abandoned that approach and we turned our attention to studying um, the similarity between weak signals. So basically what um, was a noise to some researchers before us became our signal. Uh, so we turned our attention to the records many hours after the origin of uh, origin time of uh, the largest earthquakes in the so-called coda or earthquake coda uh, is a part similar in music uh, coda refers to the um, last movement so coda in seismology refers to these uh, very noisy parts uh, of a seismogram many hours after the origin time and we discovered that um, basically the similarity between uh, two weak signals in the coda is more powerful than the weak signals themselves. We turned our focus to a new paradigm that's called the correlation wave field uh, and basically by understanding what that correlation wave field is and how the features in the uh, 2D representation that we call correlograms, how these features are formed enabled us to make a discovery uh, of J waves or shear waves in the inner core. By analyzing the features in the correlogram and how they formed, we were able to test different properties for the inner core in terms of uh, its uh, shear wave speed, uh, the rigidity and so on. And we were able to uh, we were able to compare directly compare our numerical simulations that then with the observations and we were able to then uh, basically deduce the uh, speed of shear waves in the inner core and also some other properties uh, about uh, the inner core itself. This is the evidence uh, that the inner core must be solid. The data also tells us something else about the inner core. Uh, it tells us something about the material property. So in other words, the inner core behaves more like a water saturated or a wet clay um, than the iron nickel alloy uh, that is very rigid at those conditions.